and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about stripology rulers and this is a small one and I've got the extra large one too and I'm going to show you guys how to quickly and easily cut out strips. Now you may say what does this have to do with embroidery but when you're making a quilt this becomes really important and the better you get at cutting the strips the better your quilt is going to look. Now these ones of course are for my uh, Kimberbell candy corn quilt shop and I'm going to do two borders around the outside before I do the binding. I do have AccuQuilt and I do have dies for cutting out strips like this and I would probably go to the AccuQuilt first because it's just way easier but I don't have every size strip so when I don't have it this is when I'm going to use these stripology rulers. They're seriously the right tool for the job. So I have the mini one and I have the extra large one and there's one more that's in between that's bigger than this and a little easier to handle than the big one and it's wonderful. It's wonderful. So let's get started on how we use them. Okay, let me move my strips out of the way. And I have a piece of fabric here. We're going to start with the small one. So the first thing you see with the small one are the numbers on the bottom and on the side and a whole bunch of lines. So don't worry about the lines quite yet. Um, we are going to be working and doing a few things with them. But the most important thing about this ruler is, first of all, it doesn't move. It really holds tight. Second of all, there's slats, slots for you to put your cutter, which I'm going to tell you guys, it makes a huge difference. I can't cut a straight line if my life depended on it, <laughs> and this really helps. So what I'm going to do is fold this piece of fabric in half I'm going to put the fold up at the top um, and then actually I'm going to put the fold at the bottom now you can line it up here with your cutting mat if you want or you can line it up right here and I'm looking at this black line here and not paying attention to any other lines to get it straight and now that it's lined up, it's a little bit off on each side, but that's okay, we're gonna fix it. I'm gonna start with the zero, so I have a lovely straight line at the zero. And from there, I'm, I wanna cut out uh, squares that are two by two. So then I'm gonna go to the one labeled two, and in between is a half. So I'm gonna go here, and then you can keep going. You can go to the four and move your ruler. Now you notice my fabric didn't move at all. And that one's a scrap and we have these two. Now they're not, they're not the right size yet. So now we know that these are, we did, we did it this way. So we know from here to here is two. So now we want to make it from here to here. So I just, uh, you don't need to fold everything. I just did so it's easier to remember which way it's going. Now, we have a perfect line that we just made. So we're going to line up with that. Now I'm lining it up with my ruler and not the cutting board, if you can see that. So I'm lining it up with my ruler, ignoring everything else. So I'm going to zero it out like we did before. 
and then I'm going to go on two. And now when we move it and my fabric didn't move anywhere, look, I have perfect two inch squares. So that's how easy it is to do. And the small one is handy for small things like this. Um, you can fold your fabric down for small quilt squares this is your friend as well it's quite easy and that's what all these markings are for so this is a five and a half by five and a half or six and a half there's white ones on it as well you know you put your square in there and then you can cut around it there's so much you can do with these rulers you're going to be really surprised so let's put the little one aside for now pick up all my scraps and we are going to cut some longer strips and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do. So this is the full size ruler. This is the extra large ruler and I'm going to hold it up so you guys can see. This is how big it is. It's quite large from here to here. So if you're looking at the table from here to here, so it's almost as wide as my cutting board, which is fine. So you want to, again, start with the zero on the left-hand side and work your way up. The slats are the same where you put your, let's see if we can show this. When you're putting your blade in, you put it in, there's a little loop there and you turn it sideways a little bit and then you put it in and then you cut and it follows along and it's nice and straight. So uh, pretty cool. Pick up from both sides, do not bend. You have to be very careful where you store it so it stays nice and flat. So how are we going to cut out strips? Well, the first thing we're gonna do is fold our fabric. So this fabric, I believe is 45 inches. So that will really make a nice long strip. So I'm going to fold it. Now you don't have to worry too much about the edges here, but we do want to make sure it's as even as possible. And then just to make it a little more convenient for the cameras, I'm going to fold it in half again. So I have a fold here and I have a fold here and we're going to be cutting this way only so we don't have to worry about the folds. So let's go ahead and tuck this, whew, tuck this under, keep it nice and flat and you'll notice again that my fabric is going to stay wonderfully still. If you prefer to iron it to make sure it's perfect, that's perfectly fine. And I'm going to line it up for this one in on the fabric. All these are the same size and or you could do it with the bottom fold because that'll be pretty good. So just take a moment to line up the bottom. Now you can see we are a little bit off but that's okay that part isn't going to matter and here's my zero here. So here's my zero. Now there are tons of markings on this one. This is for bigger blocks. This is for making quilts, believe it or not. You can make a lot with these rulers. Go and check out Stripology. They have books and they have tips and tricks and it's really awesome. So I have everything lined up. I'm pretty happy with that. Now I'm cutting through four pieces of fabric. So I'm going to turn my cutter so it goes right in and just go. So I'm going to, so now we have a nice straight edge for the left side. I'm going to go to the number two and I'm going to cut it. You can hear it doing a great job. And then I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do in the four. Cut it. And just, I, I'm doing it twice because I need to change my blade. Now you can keep going. You can go to the six. You won't quite make it to the eight. But if you wanted to, you could square up this side. 
just to make a nice even bit. Now you notice again, my fabric did not move. Move my ruler out of the way and look what we have. Okay, I am gonna have to trim a little bit. I will find, I will find the right stuff. I will, I promise. Isn't that fantastic? And it's perfect, so you could fold it in half, you could use it for binding, you can do anything you want with it, but I basically cut up the whole piece of fabric I have into strips. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys will check out these rulers. Remember there's one more size to it, so you don't have to, if you don't want this big huge one, I thought big and small, that'll cover it all, and it pretty much does. But a very useful ruler, and it is the right tool for the job, and I really enjoy it. Just makes it super quick. I'm going to go find my blades and change this, because it is driving me nuts. So, thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!